Hey everyone, this is Flix. So you might notice that I'm not in my car this time. Everything's a little more shaky too. Tonight I'm actually going to go see Godzilla, King of Monsters. I'm going pretty late at night and I don't have great light in my car, so I'm just going to do the pre-recording here. So when it comes to Godzilla, I saw the 2014 one. I'm not super on the Godzilla train. I know that Pops really is. But I liked the first one well enough. I don't feel like there was enough Godzilla in that movie. There was, it was way overhyped for Brian Cranston too, who just was overshown in that. But I am going to go see that, and I'm about to leave for it. So wish me luck. I'll talk to you guys after. Hey guys, so I said I was going to do a review in the car probably because it's going to be so dark and it is really dark outside. It's after midnight, but I just wanted to get a few things off my chest having just come out of the movie because something super negatively affected for the movie for me that wasn't the movie's fault. I had these like four little brats that were sitting in front of me. This is a 10 o'clock showing at night and their parents evidently just left them there. So there's these cool four kids in front of me that just would not shut the hell up. They just, the entire time the movie was going, any expositional scene, they would just be talking and talking and talking. And during the movie when any action scene was going, and it was really loud, because I will say the one thing, like, Pops was right in saying I should watch it in Cinema 1 because the sound's amazing in it. But these kids would be yelling to each other, sitting next to each other. So, like, just all parents out there, Learn your kids some fucking manners. Don't let other people have to deal with that shit. Because that movie was fine. It was okay. It was good. It might have been better. But I don't fucking know. Because I had to deal with the fucking brats the entire time. They, I didn't, I didn't want to grab the movie theater people. Because at the beginning they were fine. I don't even know if they got a freaking ticket for it. But the beginning they were fine. then suddenly like halfway through. They just would not shut up. So, that having been said, the movie was fine. I, you know, this is my spoiler-free one review on the movie. It was a good movie. It had a lot more Godzilla and a lot more fighting, and I would say a lot better fighting than the first movie. You get a lot of, of the, pretty much like every character that's been in a Godzilla that I know about gets mentioned at some point or, or another, and they keep like teasing King Kong but absolutely nothing pertaining to King Kong actually happens in the movie and it's kind of I don't want to say frustrating but it's like they know oh we're gonna get a sequel from this so bad we're gonna set things up for it I mean the movie was good it was fine like I said I'm really irritated but it's not the movie's fault it's the snot-nosed little brats it the, the CGI was a bit iffy some places, and a lot of people die in this one. That's, you know, large spoiler I'll give. I will say something that really confuses me about the movie is the number of employees a pseudo-secret government agent has. Because they have, like, it's the group Monarch has, like, 60-something off-brand sites, and, like there's people at every single one of them and there's like they're kind of a secret government agent they had some they had some really clever nods to a few things that i learned about godzilla uh, and overall i think the movie was fine i'm i'm not going to give this one a number right now because my irritation at the audience is a lot worse than this movie deserves so i'm going to think about it sit through calm down and like kind of think about it more rationally um i'll in a better lit area record the rest of this the spoiler review so stay tuned for that <laughs> 